It's much less stressful if we just go along with the crowd, not rock the ship, and choose comfort in our lives. But followers of Jesus cannot and do not choose comfort over truth. We can't choose our traditions, cultures, or societal norms over God's truth. In fact, there are brothers and sisters in countries right now who have been disowned by their own families for following Jesus Christ, even stoned to death for leaving the family's traditional religion to follow the Lord Jesus. They chose Jesus, the truth, rather than the comfortable path that was prescribed to them by their families, culture, and religion. On the other hand, there are many more people who cannot let go of their precious traditions. It's too comfortable, too cozy, too familiar to let go. They hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and learn the truth, but are unwilling to come out of their comfort zones and follow the Lord Jesus. To make things even worse, to ease their guilt, they try to compromise the truth of God to fit their own ways of living. Rather than conforming to the truth of God, they try to conform God's truth to their own ways. This is not living in the truth at all, of course, but they comfort themselves by pointing to their, quote, changed actions or the new religious activities they involve themselves in. These are the hypocrites Jesus spoke about in Matthew 15, 8 through 9, when he said, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. The only way we're able to leave what is comfortable to us and follow Jesus is to realize and know that the life we live on this earth is just a fog that soon vanishes. The real life, the one that will last for all eternity, is the one we will have with our Savior. What a tragedy it is to be fooled in our minds and think that the short time we live on this earth is what really matters. The truth is, it doesn't. The only thing worthy in this life is our relationship with our Lord and doing His will. All else is vanity, though we like to think differently. Following Jesus is following the truth, literally. Jesus said, I am the way, the life, and the truth. People ask, what is truth? Jesus is truth. Surrendering everything to Him, trusting in Him alone, and loving Him above all else is following Him. And when we do that, He will reveal to us His will for our lives. And when He does, we willingly follow, despite what it might cost us in this life. We do so because we finally realize that we deserve nothing, we are nothing, and we can do nothing apart from Him. We're not satisfied with the praise of men any longer. We only want to hear that we were good and faithful servants from our Master on that day. So it's not difficult to leave what's comfortable to us to do His will. In fact, we look forward to hearing His voice and experiencing His guidance in our hearts and lives, for that is the real essence of life. Let's not merely sing the songs and say our babbling prayers, thinking that they will impress or fool God of the real conditions of our hearts. If we're still looking to God to conform to our own ways, rather than the other way around, I pray we will be honest and confess our arrogance and hypocrisy, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Lord, let us give up whatever you may ask for your sake, your kingdom, your will. And may the words of our mouths and the thoughts of our hearts be acceptable and right before you always.